Hello friends, we are going to perform the practical study of a single stage CE amplifier. A. Design of a single stage CE amplifier of a given gain. The given gain is a 4 and value of RC that is collector register is 2.7k ohm. This is the circuit of a single stage CE amplifier. This is the transistor BC548. It is NPN type transistor. This is emitter base and collector of the circuit of a transistor. The emitter is common to input and output. So it is a common emitter configuration. The collector is connected to plus VCC through RC 2.7K. The emitter register is connected to ground. From base, two registers are connected. The R1 is connected to plus VCC and R2 is connected to ground. The input is given to ground through the input capacitor C1 and output is taken from a collector through the output capacitor C2. So this is designing part. The given is a gain that is 4 and the collector register IC 2.7K. We need to calculate the value of RE, R2 and R1. So there are three steps to find each register. The first step is find the value of RE. So these are the steps through which we can find the value of RE and it is equal to 680 ohm. When we find the value of R2, so these are the steps to find the value of R2 and its value is 10k. Then we calculate or find the value of R1. So these are the steps used to find the value of R1 and its value is 39 kilo ohm. This is the observation table for the single stage C amplifier. We apply the input with frequency 1000 hertz. We apply sine wave and we observe the output for four different input voltages. We note down the output voltage and calculate the gain for each input voltage and calculate the mean of voltage gain. Then we compare the given gain with observed gain. So we build this circuit in a Protease simulation software. We pick the devices from here. We search the devices through the keyword BC548. We need registers and a capacitor. Okay. Now we place all the components here. We place the registers. And then the capacitors. We rotate all the components. Registers. We need to connect plus VCC of 9 volt. So we will get it from here DC and we need ground. We need to connect the sine wave at the input 
and we will observe the output using oscilloscope. Okay, components are placed now. We connect all the components. We will change the values of the components, the input capacitor C1 to 10 microfarad, output capacitor C2 to 10 microfarad, R1 that is RC, its value is 2.7K and the value of R E is 680 ohm, R E sorry, 680 ohm, the value of R1 is 39, R2 is 10, K. R1 39 and it is R2 okay the circuit connection is completed now we observe the output we keep the input frequency 2000 hertz and input voltage to 0.1 volt we change the amplitude here to 0.1 volt and a frequency to 1 kilo that is 1000 hertz. We can also observe the input. Now we will run the simulation. Here we get two waveforms. So, this is the input waveform, and this is the output waveform. Okay, in input waveform the amplitude of the input waveform is its height is one division into the hold per division knob is at point 0.1 so its voltage is a point 0.1 volt when we observe the output waveform from here 1 2 3 and 4 there are four divisions into its fold per division knob is on point 0.1 so four divisions into point 0.1 so its total amplitude is point 0.4 volt we mention it here point 0.4 then we apply the next input point 0.2 volt so we change the amplitude here to point volt and run the simulation. So the input there is a one division VP that is peak voltage into point two. So it is a point two volt uh, amplitude of the input and output is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 divisions into 0.2, so it is 
4 into 0.2 means 0 0.8. So output voltage is 0 0.8. Next we apply the input voltage 0 0.3. Change here the amplitude 0 0.3 and run the simulation. The input is a peak of the input is one complete division and a half division of the second. So it's a 1.5 into 0.2. So 1.5 into 0.2 means it is equal to 0.3 millivolt. And output the peak is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 and a half. So 5.5 .5 into 0.2. So it is 5.5 .5 into 0.2 means it is 1.2 volt. 1.2. Then the next input is 0 0.4. We change the amplitude to 0 0.4 and run the simulation. The peak of the amplitude is 2 divisions into 0.2 means it is a 0.4 volt. The output is the peak of the amplitude. We start from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So 8 into 0 0.2 means 1.6 volt. So we calculate the gain for each observation. The formula of the gain is VO upon V in. For the first observation, VO is 0 0.4 and V in is 0 0.1. So 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.1 means it is 4. Next 0 0.8 upon 0 0.2 it is also 4, 1.2 upon 3 4, 1.6 divided by 0 0.4 is 4. Next we calculate the gain, mean of the gain that is also 4. So given gain is 4 and the observed gain is also 4. So here the given gain is equals to observed gain. So we conclude that single stage C amplifier can be designed of required gain. Thank you.